Dear colleagues, this is an unedited phaco surgery of a soft mature cataract. By this time, main incision has been made at a selected site. One paracentesis incision is made on the right side of the main incision and a big air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber. Now tripan blue dye is injected to stain the anterior capsule of the cataractus lens. The dye is washed out. Now viscoelastic substance is injected. This is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. This is an unedited video and you are going to see each and every step of the surgery. See, I have supported the eyeball with a cotton tipped bud so that I don't cause any subconjunctival hemorrhage. This is how I go into the eye, incise the anterior capsule of the cataractus lens. I hold this capsular flap with a uterator forceps, rest against the anterior capsule of the main incision and make this continuous curvilinear rexis. The rexis was initially circular but at the end it has got some extension, little extension towards periphery. It's not a circular rexis but it's a continuous rexis. So the idea of rexis is to be continuous all the time it will not be circular unless you are using a femto second laser. Now viscoelastic substance has been injected again. Now is the time to enter into the eye. The tip of the FACO handpiece is introduced. The machine being used is Oatly Cataract 3 FACO machine. This is a small chopper which has been designed by me. It's just a modified Sinsky hook. Impale the tip deep into the nucleus and make the first chop. Cataract is soft out. We can say it's like grade 3 and we can easily chop the nucleus in such cataracts. See this nuclear fragment which has gone underneath the iris is not coming now. We have to keep a trace on that. The nuclear fragment which is there at 9 o'clock underneath the iris. The chopper has been removed. The posterior capsule has gone behind. And that's it. The fragment which was there that also came out. Lot of cortical matter is there in this case and we have to clean the cortical matter thoroughly. I'm using a 23 gauge Simcoe cannula attached to a 10 cc glass syringe to remove these cortical matter. I go through the side port to remove the cortical matter on the other side. Now at 3 o'clock there are some cortical matter which is removed. Now some cortical matter needs to be irrigated. This is what I learned from my guru doctor. Shuhash Halipurkar. Take the hydration uh, or hydrodissection cannula and irrigate the cells that is sticking to the posterior capsule at around 3 o'clock. 
we have to be very meticulous in surgery this is what i am doing i'm irrigating these cells so that it becomes loose and when i go again it comes easily and it does so i go and see the cells are coming now very easily that's it cortical cleanup has been done nicely and now is the time to implant an intraocular lens this is the intraocular lens it's a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens nespro from apasami it's an aspheric lens no financial interest i have but i have a lot of gratitude for apasami they have helped me a lot they have given me machines without any down payment in the past here it is the eye well is implanted under irrigation the eye well goes into the the leading haptic goes into the capsular bag the trailing haptic is pushed into the capsular bag by the left hand instrument the irrigating probe the irrigating probe comes to the main port immediately and it dials the lens when irrigation is on there is no viscoelastic substance so we have saved the time to remove the viscoelastic substance we have saved viscoelastic substance which can be used for another case i just hydrate the side ports now and inject a little bit of moxifloxacin and give this final wash this final wash is very important i believe strongly that this final wash with good quality bss will cause no tas toxic toxic anterior segment syndrome in your patients thank you very much for your eagerness to watch these videos i strongly believe this these videos will help you in developing your surgical skills and i believe with lot of sincerity you can be one of the best faco surgeons of the world